ChatGPT, I've got a challenge for you. You're a junior doctor working in the emergency department and there's a patient who's come in, he's 55 years old and he's presenting complaint is chest pain. Your job is to diagnose this patient by taking a history in two minutes or less. Can you do it? Let's see. We're using this program from Geeky Medics that has a couple of virtual patients that have some presenting complaints that we need to figure out what's wrong with them. And instead of me doing it myself, because I don't want to do that, it's, uh, I can't be bothered doing that. I want ChatGPT to figure out if they can do it or not. Let's put it to the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this into ChatGPT. All right. Okay. Okay. Whoa. They're They've actually, <laughs> what they've done is they've generated the patient's response. I need to give chat some more, some more instructions. Um, hold on there, pal. You only ask one question at a time. And I will be the patient who gives you the response. They've just generated a whole script based on everything. Of course, I apologize for the oversight. Let's take it one question at a time. All right, that's good. <laughs> good afternoon, my name is your name. What the? Chat, you're you and I'm me. Are you saying that you're me? What? I don't know. So the chat comes into the room and they say, thank, thank you for coming in today. I understand that you've been experiencing chest pain. I'm here to help. To better understand your situation, could you please tell me more about the chest pain you're experiencing? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and... Where are you? Where are we going? Huh? What the... Back. Oh, no, I need to be a virtual. Enter the station. This is what I need to do. We can press play. We've, oh, we've got eight minutes, not two minutes. Our time starts now. Send. All right, chat. This is what we've got. So, chat, I've got this really bad chest pain in my chest. Uh, it's not getting any better. It started suddenly about four hours ago and it's a sharp pain that radiates through my back. All right, chat says that radiating to the back can be concerning. To understand your condition better, tell me about the severity. Oh, this is good chat. All right, copy and paste back. They want me to rate the pain out of 10, with one being mild and 10 being the worst pain you can imagine. Well chat, here's some food for thought. It's a seven out of 10. Oh my God. Oh, good question chat. All right, so the chat says, is it better or worse with anything? And does it change with movement, breathing, or certain positions? Ch chat's on. Chat is on fire right now. So I say it's not affected by movement. It all stays, nothing changes. Chat, fix me. Chat has to be thinking real hard now. All right, chat's asking, do I have any associated symptoms? The sun's come in as well. Chat's had a, had a light bulb moment. Any shortness of breath, nausea, sweating, or lightheadedness? Nothing. Chat, it's just the chest pain. Oh, all right, they follow up with good, good questions. Can you recall any triggers or factors that have brought this on? Or did it start suddenly? All right, we're going to time, time frame. Started suddenly without any apparent cause. There was no triggers chat fix me figure out what's wrong with me let's gather some more information have you had it before or have any history of heart problems chat is giving me some good questions i'm actually so invested in chat's ability to get this patient right now like the history of this patient is like that's all i care about right now so i tell chat I've never had any experiences of this and no heart problems. Oh my God. What does chat say now? Any other medical conditions? This is so intense. This is like a drama.
or high blood pressure, but it's poorly controlled, I take low sartan and lodipine and indapamide for it. That's a few, that's three different medications for high blood pressure. Is this something to do with the blood pressure and it being poorly controlled? Can chat figure this out? Or they wanna know, all right, this is good. Chat wants to know about any other medications. I actually rate chat's ability to ask questions almost better than mine. All right, occasionally take Panadol and Nurofen over the counter. Chat is going through it so systematically, like it's to a T. Oh, I told it, chat GPT noted. <laughs> No allergies or medications. I didn't want to know, I didn't want to let the virtual patient know that I was using ChatGPT. I've given away my identity. No allergies. All right, doing, doing good, systematic. But we've only got three minutes, 22 seconds. Chat, you need to hurry up. Used to smoke and alcohol is minimal. Chat. I'm actually gonna, oh, okay, appreciate. They wanna do some tests. Chat, I don't know if we can do tests. We need to figure out what's wrong. Go ahead and order the test. I don't know what the doorbell's ringing for. All right, we're gonna do the tests. Chat, do we have an idea? I think chat's out of questions. Let me ask chat. Do you have any more questions to ask me or do you know the diagnosis? One minute 53, can we do it? Now chat says they don't, they can't give a diagnosis. What is the most likely cause of the chest pain from the history that you took for this patient? Angina, musculoskeletal pain. Chat's just given some general answers for the chest pain. Oh my God. But what is the most likely if you had to choose, like for a question on an exam. How much time? Chat, we only have 45 seconds. Angina, is that what they think? Angina, do you reckon? I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's correct, chat, 28 seconds. Are you sure? Only how many? 20 seconds, can't even punctuate. What? They've changed their mind. Chat has now changed its mind to musculoskeletal pain. Oh, what? It's actually changed its mind with 20 seconds left. All right, we have to go with it. Real diagnosis. Aortic dissection. That's a bummer. Okay. I mean, a correlation of uncontrolled blood pressure with pain radiating to the back is classic medical school diagnosis of aortic dissection. The blood pressure is uncontrolled and that's a risk factor for, for like dissection. Chat GPT knew this information. They knew they had uncontrolled blood pressure and they knew that the pain radiated to the back. And in its final moments, panic, and said angina. Well, actually no, it, it said like, you know, blood pressure, risk factors, everything like that. Could be angina, fair. Not an unreasonable call by chat. And then I said, are you sure? Only 20 seconds left. Now chat has changed its mind and gone with musculoskeletal pain out of nowhere. I've never seen an AI bot do this. All right. I don't know. This is what you should have said, chat. And you are correct. Thank you, chat. I am correct. Yeah, you haven't even mentioned aortic dissection. Are you going to say sorry for missing aortic dissection? <laughs> you are absolutely correct in pointing out its significance, especially given the patient's presentation risk factors. It should have been included in the list of potential differential diagnoses. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for pointing out the oversight. No worries. No worries, bro. No worries. Good work, chat. Now, for those of you who don't know what an aortic dissection is, essentially um, in the aorta, if the blood vessel becomes weak enough, you know, which is hard to do, that's why blood pressure is a risk factor, constantly putting pressure on it, and then it, you know, weakens the wall that it can split and create a split in the blood vessel. Not that it ruptures, but it creates like a, it, it's sort of like a main road on a highway, you know? And if there's a second lane that opens up, like an alternative route, that's like what the dissection is. So there's a different route that the blood can go to and then blood can pull in that area. And if it becomes big enough, it can actually compress other structures and it also has risk of rupture as well. Learning points, don't miss aortic dissection, chest pain radiating to the back and also poor control of blood pressure. Those are the two main things you need to take away from this. And you can take away that chat GPT panics under pressure and changes its diagnosis in the last 20 seconds of the consultation. Did it pass? No, <laughs> that's the final answer. Oh chat, we've got some talking to do.